What's up and welcome back to Rumor Has It Official. Let's get straight into talking about 90 Day Fiance. This is season six, episode nine, backed into a corner. Let's get straight into talking about Colt and Larissa. So Colt says that when Larissa threw the ring and said that she didn't want to marry him anymore, it hurt him. As a result of her actions, the next day he's looking for tickets to fly her back to Brazil. Larissa knows that, you know, she took it a little too far. So she decides to go downstairs and do damage control and try to smooth things over with Colt. And Larissa says that, you know, she feels bad for her actions and wishes that she could fix it. It's really funny to me how he's very stern in certain areas, but when it comes to having a person's back or someone feeling like they're being mistreated, he's very passive. So I just don't get it. Like he has, he takes control over the situation and because she's mad, he's mad at her for throwing a ring and maybe how she acted with his cousin, but he didn't feel the need to tell his cousin, okay, this is my fiance. You know, you don't have to like her, but for the sake of me, can you just show a little more respect or be cordial? He's very passive in that situation, but when it came to her throwing that ring, he's already ready to ship her back to Brazil. So that was kind of funny to me. He, that's kind of backwards in my opinion. Larissa feels that it was mean that Colt was buying the ticket in silence. This is how she put it. She said he was buying the ticket in silence and she almost didn't really believe him until he showed her his laptop. And he was like, you know, here's the proof right here. You know, I'm looking for tickets to send you back, you know, because if you don't want to marry me, then you can go back home, basically. <laughs> Larissa opened up that she wanted Colt to protect her from John because John was aggressive towards her. Colt stands up for his family as always and tells her that he needs a partner that will properly communicate. Cole expresses if this happens again, he doesn't want to marry Larissa and he will send her back to Brazil. Larissa has promised Colt that she won't blow up again. And in an effort to move forward, they go on a double date with Colt's friends. While in the car, Larissa is annoyed because Colt doesn't compliment her on her makeup. Once they get to this restaurant and they're outside, they don't even make it inside of the restaurant. They're arguing in front of his friends for a good, it felt like a good 30 minutes. They're outside arguing, going back and forth. And again, another temper tantrum she's having that, you know, she says she wouldn't do. I seriously think that Larissa just may. Now, this is just my opinion. She just may be bipolar because one minute, you know, she's happy. And the next minute she's just like zero to a hundred, just like really quick. And they just got in the car and they're going on the double date to try to move forward from the fight that she had with his cousin. So it's just like, she's really up and down. And so I don't know, she just may be bipolar. The faces of his friends, I felt like were very priceless in the moment where they were arguing. And I know they badly wanted to call an Uber and just ditch the double date because it was just too much, too much going on. So Colt tries to shift the argument and starts complimenting her, giving her what she wants. And then after 30 minutes, like I said, of arguing, they finally head inside for dinner. After getting over that hurdle, they bump into the waitress again. The waitress that Colt was flirting with when they were looking for wedding venues, they bump into her again. This time old girl, you know, she got her glasses off, got her little contacts in and uh, think she has her, I don't know if her, is her hair down? I can't really remember. You guys can comment down below, but she looks a little bit different without her glasses. That doesn't stop Colt from knowing who she is. He remembers exactly who she is. And he says that he's going to try to make it a point not to make eye contact with her or to interact with her, which is kind of hard because she has to take your order on what you want to eat. So it was funny because he was trying to, you know, avoid looking at her, but he was kind of looking at her through his glasses a little bit to see if she was looking at him it's just it was that part was hilarious to me so while the waiter was passing out their menus and pouring water and she was eyeing him back too I, you know I think that she thinks he's cute as well it's safe to say that they end this date on a good note so I want to know your guys' thoughts on Cole and Larissa on episode nine comment down below letting me know what you thought about the episode with this couple also give this video a big thumbs up 
share this video with a friend, subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified on the next upload. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.